Right guys, so welcome back to our channel. We're doing something a little bit different because we're going to do some reviews of Universal in this video. I know, shock horror, it's not Disney, but we're going to see how it goes. Let's get started. We're going to be discussing our top five attractions at Universal. The first one for me is going to be E.T., which is actually E.T. Adventure. It's in the Woody Woodpecker Kid Zone section. Okay, so the E.T. ride is obviously based on the E.T. film. If you haven't seen that, go and watch it. Good film. It's been there quite a while now. So it's been there a long time. I went on it as a little kid and I loved it then and I still love it now. Basically, you have to help E.T. save his home planet. It's, it's amazing. You get on the bikes like in the film and honestly, it's absolutely incredible. And as you go through, you give them your name and then they'll say it out. They'll thank you for helping E.T. save the planet. The way that they've made it is brilliant. It's huge trees. The queuing area as well is just mm. like, you always hear about how in Florida and Disney and stuff like that, the queues are amazing, but honestly, this is one of the best queues in Florida, I reckon, just because it's just so well themed. It's almost like another part of the ride. There's so many animatronics going on. It's brilliant. The actual ride itself though is pretty much just a family ride. Anyone can ride it. It's not really scary. It's not fast. It's not noisy. It's just, just amazing, really. So if you haven't ridden the ET rides and you always think, oh, I'm not gonna ride that, Ride it, it's really good. The queue isn't normally that big, not that we've noticed anyway. So yeah, go and ride the ET ride. So another one of our favorite rides in Universal Studios is the Revenge of the Mummy. So from the outside, it just looks like it could even be a show, like, it, you know, you wouldn't expect what happens in the ride. I mean, if you don't want to know what it is, then, you know, skip ahead, don't listen to this bit. Um, but basically you go into the ride and you're, it starts off by being just like a standard ride like you see all the mummies in caskets it's just a slow moving ride that kind of goes round there's one bit where you go into a room and the whole ceiling catches fire yeah. it's like ridiculously hot um you go through another bit and there's lots of mummies and tombs it's pretty just standard to be fair and then out of the blue it just turns into a roller coaster like it's pretty dark so you can't see too much and you're like going through the tombs i'm pretty sure it goes upside down yeah like, i'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure it does, it does. And it's just like insane. You come off being like, oh my God, I did not expect that. And for me, it's actually my favorite ride in uh, Universal Studios. And I absolutely loved it. I think we literally came off and then just walked around. We did and it twice, it. didn't we? Yeah, did it. We rode it three times. Straight away again. Yeah. Because it was just, I, I absolutely loved it. So I cannot wait again mm. to be on that ride this year. The Mummy ride is ruthless as well, because when you go through the entrance, there's a huge cabinet to the left and it's full of smashed iPhones and iPods and there's like cameras in there and everything. Basically, they just find them after you've been on the roller coaster. I just put them in there to tell you not to use it. So it's like, it's quite funny just to sit there and actually see them. It's, I don't know who would have their phone upside down on a roller coaster. Yeah, but you say that, but we go to Disney and we go on rock and roller coaster and we film it and take our phones on there. So uh, just Universal are a lot more stricter. Like you can't oh, take yeah. anything on the rides with you. Whereas Disney, they're happy to take your bag, your you know, your pet chicken, anything. Yeah, anything you want. <laughs> they'll, let you, they'll let you take on. Okay, so number three on our attractions list is the Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket in Production Central, which is literally just as you go through the entrance to Universal, and it's like you've got your, effectively, your little shopping area which you walk past, and you've got a few rides, but then just off to the left is the Hollywood, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. It's quite hard to say, actually. Um, but this ride is one of the it's one of the main roller coasters in that Universal Park, and it's just awesome. You, it's all outside. Uh, the queue is outside, so it's quite a warm ride if you're going to be queuing in like mid July. But basically, you queue up, you get all the way up. There's queue up these stairs and stuff, so there is a lift for disability access and things like that. When you get up the top, you get on the ride, you sit in it. They push it down. And there's this little tablet in front of you, like a like an iPhone screen basically, and you pick which song you want. And then as it starts, it starts playing this song and these speakers next to your head. And the first thing the ride does, it takes you vertically up. So you are like leaning back. And honestly, that is so good. Especially if you pick an awesome song. So like I've picked um, Highway to Hell. I've picked, uh, what else have I picked when I've been on the, oh, I've picked up um, a DMC Tr Tricky. 
Uh, what have you picked when you've ever done MC it? MC Hammer. MC Hammer. Uh, there's so many songs on there, and I've heard a rumour that there are some secret songs you can get a hold of. I don't know how that works. Might be a load of rubbish, but it'd be pretty cool to see if you could. Um, Everyone picks their own song, so the person you're sitting next to can be, you be playing a different song, or you can be playing the same song and sing together, which is quite fun. And every kind of seat in front of you, they record the ride, so you can either watch the ride video afterwards, or you can buy it as well. Yeah, it's a really, really good ride. It has got loops in it. Yep, lots of upside down bits. It's a proper like full on roller coaster. Really, really good, and it's really long. Like yeah. really long. Yeah, it's quite. Like long it go, roller, it so. stretches out quite far across the park, and definitely worth a ride if you like roller coasters. If you don't like roller coasters, it's quite heavy. So yeah, don't ride it if you don't like roller coasters. Okay, so another one of our top five rides in Universal Studios is the Escape from Green Gots ride in Diagon Alley. So this ride is very similar to a lot of the rides in Universal Studios really. Um, kind of like um, there's big screens around, you don't do too much moving as such, it's not a roller coaster. Um, but it's you feel really immersed in the film. Um, basically, you're you're in the carts that they're in in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, the ones that when they go through into the Green Gods vaults, you're basically sitting in one of those, and you see a battle between you know there's like Voldemort's there, um, Bellatrix is there, obviously Harry Potter and every one of there, the dragon, and it's just you trying to escape through Green Gods which is incredible. And one of my favourite parts of this ride isn't actually the ride it's when you queue up so when you go into Diagon Alley you can see the Green Gots Bank right at the end of the street like exactly how it is in the film and when you go in you go down the kind of entrance into the bank and you can see all the goblins either side of you yeah and they're all animatronics that move terrifying look actually so realistic they're all sitting there with their little quills like writing up whatever counting coins yeah and then it, it's just so realistic it literally does feel like you've just jumped into the films and then i believe you go into an elevator which takes you down yeah yeah you go into a I big elevator but i don't think the elevator actually moves it's like a shakes and you just yeah. go through the other side and then side. you see um one of the weasley brothers don't you inside the vault um you go into his office and you see and the conversation in between him and I feel like it's Mad Eye. I'm Might not 100%. be. I can't really remember. Um, it's amazing. It is so good though, and it's just, it's one of those rides that the kids would enjoy as well. It's not too heavy. There are a few bits that you kind of get like swayed a bit like this, but it's not, you know, it's not extreme. You don't go upside down or no. anything like that. Um, so no, it's a really great family ride, and I really would recommend it for any Harry Potter fan. So number five on our attractions list, and it had to make it Men in Black. So it's Men in Black Alien Attack and it's in the World Expo section, which is actually in uh, the Men in Black movie. There's an area in there called World Expo, so it's quite clever there. As you approach the ride, anyone that's seen the original Men in Black, so the first one, uh, when you've got the two big towers of the UFOs, well, look like UFOs, and then they turn out to actually be UFOs on top, they've got them there, which is quite cool. Then you've got this huge Men in Black headquarters behind you. You queue up and you go in there. So the actual ride itself is a shooting ride. So you get on and you sit in your front bit and then there's a rail behind you and you have to go through the streets of New York. Uh, I think it's New York. I think it's New Some York. Some city in New York. Some could be Chicago perhaps. But anyway, so you go through the streets and you're shooting aliens that pop up out of bins and in windows and all this kind of stuff and you get points for shooting them. So the ride's actually quite a long ride, it's quite good. Um, in terms of the actual the aliens that you see, you do see the aliens from the films, which is quite cool. Uh, you get to see Will Smith quite a bit. He's in different parts, like different videos that are going off. Um, and there is you, d different aliens worth different points, same as always on a shooting ride. Obviously, I always win on this one. I'm not sure that you did, actually. I destroyed you. Mm. I always win shooting rides. She never beats me, ever. Anyway, so there's a section where you sort of turn to face another car and you get to shoot each other because they look like aliens. So you're shooting each other, which is pretty cool. Um, if I'm honest, it's definitely one of my more favorite rides in Universal. Just don't agree? Yeah, Oh, agree. It was a, uh, that was a face like No, I agree. Resting face, that's all that is. But it's, honestly, it's quality. And then when you get off, there's a shop which sells all the Men in Black merchandise, which is pretty cool. Oh, and the pug as well in mm, Men yeah. in Black. He's there quite a bit, he pops up and he sort of tells you what to do and stuff, so he's pretty funny. Um, all in all, 
definitely worth a ride. The queue's normally quite long because it's one of the only shooting rides in that park, and everyone likes a shooting ride. They kind of. It's the only one in both of the Universal parks. Yeah, it is, and it is definitely a popular ride. Um, and it's right next door to other places as well, which is pretty cool. So it's like it's like the end of a park. You can't go past it, which is nice. So go and ride the Men in Black ride. It's amazing and let us know your scores as well because I'd like to know if I'm better than you so. I can't remember what we scored. Top. Mm. That brings us to the end of the five. Did you agree? Did you not agree? What's your favourite ones? Let us know because you might have done something we don't normally do. I mean I would like to have put Barney on the list but apparently I'm too old for Barney now which is annoying but it's okay. So yeah, thank you for watching this one. Don't forget to hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, it's up here somewhere. I'm not actually sure I always get it wrong, so just hit that red button somewhere. It would be nice, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.